worship you, Son of God. Son of God, you are so good, Almighty God, Almighty God. Hello, we give thy name.
thy name. Lift Jesus higher. Lift him up. Lift Jesus higher. Lift, Lift him up. Up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. How excellent is your name, O oh Lord! How excellent, how excellent is your name, O oh Lord! Oh, 
Hallelujah. At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We have a serious revelation of God the Father. And we have to be thankful for that. Jesus says, God does not reveal everything to everybody. He hides them 
from those who think they know, and he reveals them to those who are babes, those who are humble. Hallelujah. For that is the will of the Father. He does as he wills. And so I want us to lift up our hands in thanksgiving for these revelations of God the Father that we are receiving in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Abba, Father, we praise you. We thank you. We bless you. We exalt you. We worship you, omnipotent God, eternal rock of ages, Alpha and Omega. We bless your holy name. Thank you for these revelations that you are giving to us because it so pleases you to do that. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory, all the praise. Let's lift up our hands and thank God for it has pleased him to take us to another dimension of his knowledge. Reka seka de boko santo ko seka de baba ko de ke santo meze ka de boko soka de baba ko de ke santo masoka de de kaske de baba ko de ko soka de baba ko de ko santo repa ko de ke seka de de ko soka de baba ko de ke santo mako de boko seka de de ko soka de baba ko de ko santo raka de ke santo masoka de baba ko de ke santo. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Deuteronomy 29, verse 29. Deuteronomy 29, 29. Hallelujah. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever. Amen. That we may do all the words of this law. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want us to turn that into a prayer. Amen. The Bible says the secret things belong to God. God is not obliged to reveal anything. But the moment he starts to reveal, then we should keep what he reveals. It is for our benefit. Hallelujah. He reveals to redeem. Let's lift up our hands and say, Father, we thank you. Say it from your heart. Say, Father, I thank you. Because the secret things belong to you. And, but those things, though, but those things, which are revealed, they belong to us and to our children forever. Forever. Everything you are revealing, may they never be lost in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. God reveals for a purpose. And so as he begins to reveal himself, the revelation belongs to you and I, to our children and children's children. May that revelation be released to this generation forever. May it never be lost. Everything is teaching us about himself. May it be permanent. May we never lose it. May the devil never steal it from us. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray. The things that are revealed, they belong to you and to your children forever. They are for our profit. They are for our benefit. Mark, I did enough of, of just playing with your visions and dreams and whatever the Holy Spirit is revealing. It is for your profit, it's for your deliverance, it's for the deliverance of your children and children's children, it is for your healing, it is for your upgrade, spiritually, physically, makasento, emotionally, it's for your blessing. Those things, they are for us 
and for our children and children's children forever. We praise you, Lord. Meso kade bakode ke se kade babakode kas kade boko santo. Rapa bakode ke se kade babakode kas kade baba. Reko sopo ko she kade babakode kas kade babakode ke santo. Father, we praise you. Everything you reveal is for our profit, is for our benefit, is for our healing. It's for our deliverance. It's for our progress. It's for our children and children's children. It's not to be lost. In Jesus' name we pray. And lift up your right hand and say powers. Powers that want to blindfold me. Powers that want me to take the visions of God for granted. The powers that don't want me to pay attention to what the Lord is teaching me. Your time is up. I bind you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Clap your hands and bind them. Whether they operate in the air, in the sea, under the ground, inside any human being. Powers that want to water the word of God, that want to steal the word, that want to steal divine revelation. Powers that don't want you to pay attention to what God is showing you. That don't want you to understand what God is saying. Let those powers be accursed. Let them be accursed. Let them be accursed. Let them be accursed. Let them be accursed. Whether they operate in the heavenlies, whether they operate in any human beings, whether they operate in the sea, under the ground, whether they, whatever they may be, powers. I want to exalt themselves against the knowledge of God, against divine revelation. The Lord rebukes you. Makade boko si kade bako deke zeke de babako deke zento. Rapa bako deke zento. Prako deke zento. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, those powers are accursed. The revelations of God, they will never be lost. They will not be stolen. They will not fall on stony hearts. They will not stop, fall by the wayside. The father that gives us this revelation is greater than you all in the name of Jesus. He's greater than you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. He's greater than your works. He's greater than all your demons. Thank you, Father. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Chineke na ndewo, ndewo, oye keru wa ndewo, imela. Chineke na ndewo, ndewo, oye keru wa ndewo, imela. Chineke na ndewo, Oye ke ruwa ndewo imela jineke na ndewo clap your hands clap your hands welcome God the Father with thanksgiving bless him bless him jineke na ndewo ndewo oye ke ruwa ndewo imela jineke na dareke ne dareke ne oye ke ruwa ndewo
Hallelujah. I don't want to turn you to Ibos, but there's another song. Imela, 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 Shineke, Indima, Inimla, Oyama. I'm sure you know that song, right? Imela, 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 Imela chineke di ma imela oyama imela 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 e imela chineke di ma imela oyama imela 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 e imela chineke di ma imela oyama. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. Is God good? Amen. Is he your creator? Amen. Come on, let's clap for him and give him all the praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. We're going to sing for the Congolese now. Yes, we want to mouse my wami lele. Amen. The Bible says, be your brother's keeper. So they are looking like they don't understand Igbo, so let's speak their language. Yes, ni wangu mausma wamilele. Yes, ni wangu wasima wamilele. Yes, ni wangu mausma wamilele. Yes, ni wangu wasima wamilele. Yes, ni wangu mausma wamilele. Hallelujah, 
Hallelujah. So, Brother Landry, what were we saying? My God, you are mine forever. Hallelujah. Oh, I thought it was your language. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. And your wife is speaking something else. I hope you both speak. Ah, thank God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let's lift up our hands and say, Thank you, Jesus. You are mine forever. Amen. Father, we give you praise for what you're about to do tonight. We pray, Lord, that you will glorify your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's take the special number that the Lord gave us. Father, we love you, we worship and adore you. Can you clap for God the Father, please? Jesus, we love you, we worship and adore you. Can you clap for Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ? Holy Spirit, we love you, we worship and adore you. Clap for the Holy Ghost. Let's clap for God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Worship and adore you. 
glorify your name in all the earth. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. Glorify your name in all the your heart Father we love you we worship and adore you glorify your name in all the earth glorify your name Glorify your name in my life, Abba Father. Glorify your name in my destiny, in my family. Glorify your name. Glorify your name in my children's lives, my children's children's lives. Glorify your name. Glorify your name, Abba Father. Glorify your name in this house. Glorify your name in this ministry. Glorify your name in this nation, Father. Glorify your name. Father, we love you, we worship and adore glorify you in all our lives. Hallelujah, glorify your name. Glorify your name, Abba Father, glorify your name in all our lives. Jesus, we love you, we worship and adore Glorify your name in all our lives. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. Spirit, we love 
worship and adore you. Glorify your name in all our lives. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. To turn this into a serious prayer. Say, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, search my life, search my family, search this church, search this nation, search these ministries, and let your spirit remove everything that does not glorify you in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Father, let your hand be against everything in my life, in my family, in my children's lives, in my children's children's lives, in this church, in this nation, in this ministries. That is an insult to your name. You are not praying. Every deposit of darkness, whether it's a habit, whether it's a sickness, whether it's, it's a lack, whether it's a curse, anything that God the Father has not put in our lives that is insulting his presence in our lives, let his mighty hand remove it. Let his hand be against it. That's the prayer of Jabez. He said, Father, bless me indeed. Enlarge my coast. Let your hand be with me. Remove evil far from me. Pray that prayer. Don't let evil grieve me anymore. Don't let sickness grieve me. Don't let curses grieve me or my children or children's children. Don't let evil covenants grieve me. Don't let sickness or disease grieve any one of us. Don't let Satan grieve this church. Don't let witchcraft, don't let demons, don't let any evil grieve this church or these ministries or any one of us in all our families. Open your mouth. Abba Father. Makode de keze baba. Whatever you have not deposited in our lives, whatever you have not put in our lives, whatever is not from you, whatever is an insult to your presence, to your name in our lives. You know, alcoholism in the family does not glorify God. Poverty does not glorify God. Fornication, adultery does not glorify God. Evil desires, those things don't glorify God. Worldliness, they don't glorify God. Any deposit of darkness, anything, oh God. My father, I need your hand right now. Let your hand... Be against all those deposits of darkness from all our foundations that don't glorify your name. I want you to clap your hands as the angels are sweeping them out. Let the angels of the living God sweep all those dirts out of our lives, out of our families. All those curses, all those sicknesses, all those diseases. All those things that don't glorify God. Let them find their way out. Let them go. Yes. Father, glorify your name in our lives. Answer your name. All those things that don't glorify you in this church. In these ministries, my father sweep them out, 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 glorify your name. 
Makade de Koskade Bakode Kaskede Babakode Kasan. All those things that don't glorify God in Namibia. Uh -huh. Those things that don't glorify you, Father, in Africa, in Nigeria, in Namibia, in, in West Africa, East Africa, South Africa, in North Africa. Those things that don't glorify you in South America. Ah, makade de keseke de 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 kaska de baba ko de koso ka de baba rapa ba ko de kasanto. Eh eh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Pray, 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 pray. Everything that God has not said that is embarrassing us in our lives, in our families, embarrassing us, making the devil to laugh at us, let the hand of God be against it. Let's see who is on the throne. Let's see who is on the throne. Clap your hands. Let's release God the Father against it. Whatever he has not spoken, that the enemy is speaking into our lives. Makade de kosoko de de kesento kosi kade babako de kasanto. Joblessness does not glorify God. Lack of marriage doesn't glorify God. Lack of children doesn't glorify God. Unfruitfulness does not glorify God. Ha. Miscarriage, those things don't glorify God. Every deposit of darkness, my father search it out, Abba 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 Father. Uh -huh. Pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout hallelujah. Shout another hallelujah. I'm going to pray that prayer again. You know, it's been a while since the Lord has been trying to reveal to me the role of God the Father. Hallelujah. He's been trying hard to let me see it through scriptures, but we're so, we so used to just calling on the name of the Lord. But the Lord keeps saying, he sent me. He has glorified me. And I, whatever he has given me, I'm giving to you. He keeps point, pointing us to him. Let's clap for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray that prayer. You know, a few years ago when there was this fight uh, in Kosovo and people were being destroyed, and I developed a burden and I sat there and I was praying. I was praying and praying and praying and praying. Uh, Lord, please, this war is embarrassing. The people are dying. And then the Lord said, talk to God the Father. <laughs> Hallelujah. I didn't understand what he said, but I said it. I just said, Father, the Lord said I should talk to you. Stop the war. And the war stopped. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Even when I was praying for Zimbabwe, he told me the same thing. Every time a situation is tough, God the Father must step into it. Yeah. Hallelujah. And lift up your right and say, Abba Father, every tough situation in my life that does not glorify your name, my Father, my Father, from the bottom of my heart, I'm crying out to you. That situation in my family that does not glorify your name, that alcoholism, it doesn't glorify your name. All the poverty there, it doesn't glorify your name. The oppression of darkness, it is not glorifying your name. Joblessness in the family, does not glorify your name. Adultery in the family, it is not glorifying your name. Sin in the family, it is not glorifying your name. Stubborn children. They, those things don't glorify your name. Every satanic covenant that are coming up to trouble us, to trouble our salvation, to trouble our destiny, to trouble our generation, my Father, bring out your mighty hand. Sweep them out of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Clap your hands and begin to pray. 
everything that Satan has put in your life. In my life. In our children's lives. In this church. In the ministries. Every deposit of darkness. Father, sweep it out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus came to point us to the Father. He said, my Father will raise me on the third day. God the Father had the power to bring him out of the grave. Every deposit of darkness in this church. Father, bring out your mighty broom of fire. Sweep it out, Abba Father. Sweep it out forever. Out of our lives. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shout hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to sing a lot of hallelujah. The one with the mighty hand Amen. is turning things around. Amen. And his name is God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. They walk together. Amen. Hallelujah. It says, whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name. Hallelujah. It says, I will do it that the Father may be glorified in the Son. It says, I and the Father, we are one. Hallelujah. Clap for God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. is turning things around. is turning things around. is turning around for my good for my good for my good for my good Heaven and earth adore you, Lord. You are stretched out, has given us victory. Miracles, signs, and wonders come from you. Oh, yes. The moon is just like that. Words are not enough to tell of all you've done, yeah. Oh, Lord, our God, our is turning things around. Turning things around. Oh, Lord, our God, our is turning things around. Everywhere you go. Oh, Lord, our God, our is turning things around. Things around. 
I prophesy to every Pharaoh here. Die by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Every Pharaoh in your family, in my family, they will receive the hand of God for judgment. And we will receive his hand for blessing in the name of Jesus. I heard the testimony of one sister. 
<laughs> Very funny and strange testimony. In her tradition, somebody must give her away from the father's side if the father is no longer there. And the people that are supposed to give her away, they don't like her. Because she used to be a prostitute, then she got saved, and they didn't, they just hated her. She got saved, they didn't like the testimony she was giving, all sorts of stories. Now she found a husband. And then the, the uncle said, ah, no, she cannot get married because she has brought a stain to the family name. So the girl took the man to the village and all that. They set the date. And the uncle decided to die. Hallelujah. Because he said over his dead body. So he died. <laughs> Hallelujah. Whoever is saying over their dead body, they will die. In the name of Jesus Christ. My father is with me. Like Jesus likes to say. My father is here. And I'm speaking in his name. I'm speaking on the authority of my father. Whoever is saying over his dead body. Will this church move forward? That person shall die. So the uncle died. And since he was the only one that must give her away. The sister said, no, he must wake up. Oh. Hallelujah. So she phoned the village and said, sent an anchor chief and said, place it, on, place it on him. He must give me away, then he can die. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I'm just telling you, when God the Father puts authority in you, there is nothing Satan can do. So they raised the old man. Hallelujah. Clap for the Lord. And she went and got married. And then she decreed and said, now you can die. Then he died. That's what we are talking about. God the Father is in charge. Shout hallelujah. Another hallelujah, another hallelujah, another hallelujah. The professor that was troubling my daughter, the one day daddy said, if he doesn't want her to graduate, he will die. I said, no, don't let him die yet. Because he has to be at the defense. He is the one that supervises the PhD. He has to be there. He has to sign her out. Then he can die. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So we suspended his life. He's still alive. I told my daughter this morning, pray for him. So that he will not die. Because I have made a decree. If he doesn't want to let you go. But the first decree I made was, it, the wife was head of the department. And they were both on her case. I said one of them needs to be removed. So the head of the department was removed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we have to deal with the husband alone. Hallelujah. I want you to lift up your hand. I stand in the authority that is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the authority that God the Father has conferred on me as his apostle to this land. Powers that don't want this word that you are hearing to profit you. Powers that are troubling you, troubling your fruitfulness, troubling your blessing, troubling your salvation, troubling you, troubling the family, including me. Powers that trouble this church, I decree by decree of heaven, you must leave us alone or die. In the name of Jesus, Clap your hands and shout hallelujah. That prayer is necessary. Hallelujah. Because when we are praying like this and we are making declarations, some are disagreeing. Hey, you know what? You want to disagree? Go home more. Because fire will hit you on the head. Hallelujah. Carry your unbelief and go. Carry your demons and go. You're not welcome here. Hallelujah. 
Now lift up your hands. Say, any power in this assembly that wants to disagree with the word that God the Father is releasing, I decree your death in the name of Jesus Christ. Clap your hands and pray in tongues. You must die. Enough is enough. Yeah, so powers that want to disturb our blessings, our testimonies, our fruitfulness, our moving forward, die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. I was in the north. I was looking at something that was going on in one of the churches. <laughs> Uh, this woman was causing trouble. She jumped and came to interpret for me. I said, go and sit down. Sit down, because you fall down dead now. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said, sit down. I don't need interpretation. Praise the Lord. I was praying again. She jumped there. I said, ah, you're looking for trouble. Whatever scholar, scholar you are doing here, don't do it with me. Go and sit down. Hallelujah. And later I called the pastor. I said, that woman is sitting on your head. Sitting on the church. It's in charge of everything. It's not even an elder. It's sitting on your head with a, a demonic authority. I said, I want you to remove her from every responsibility. Or I will remove you. She was shocked. I said, don't, don't play with me. Oh. Because this church belongs to Jesus. And there is no witch that should sit on the church of Jesus Christ. And if you pastor are blind, and you can't see her, I will remove the two of you. Either you go and sack her, there's nothing wrong with you. But you, 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 sometimes when you like them, you don't see them. Hallelujah. Lift up your right hand and say, witches! In Christ's love ministries, hear the word of God. Repent or die by fire. Clap your hands. The name of Jesus Christ. Let them die. What are they doing? Either they repent or die. We don't need you. Uh -huh. Masoka de 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 bako de bako de seka de baba de de. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm not praying about witches, uh, stupid witches who don't obey the word of God. Though. Those who want to be worldly, and not, it, otherwise many will die. I'm praying about those who who bring the power of Satan into the house of God. They must repent or die. Sit down. God bless you. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. Everybody say fire. Fire. fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, receive the fire. I want to talk about revealing God the Father. Because I think I've been speaking in Proverbs. Maybe you didn't get me. I want you to <clears throat> understand the revelation of God the Father. Clap for God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. John chapter 4, verse 20 to 24. John 4. Makade de kasento. Makade de kase. I'm coming against every spirit of opposition, human or demonic, by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm cutting them off in the name of Jesus. John 4 verse 20. Our fathers worshipped in this mountain. And ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh, when ye shall neither in this mountain, nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship ye know not what. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is his spirit. 
And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now here's Jesus. He's talking about hallelujah. And what is spirit? Hallelujah. What is it? What, what was he telling her? Huh? He's talking to you and I that think that the only time you can worship is in church. How many of you, after this service, you just go home and, and sleep? There is no fellowship with God the Father. Hallelujah. That is a demonic religious spirit. And it must stop. Hallelujah. 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 That, that religious spirit just designates a place of worship. Religious people just worship God in church. They pray in church. They sing in church. They look holy in church. But God is a spirit and he dwells in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, you can worship him anywhere. You must not limit your worship, your fellowship with God to the service. Otherwise, you will die. Hallelujah. He will not be able to reveal things to you. You will not grow. That is why witches will be attacking you. You won't see them because you are not in the spirit. Amen? You're supposed to see. Your eyes must be open. If you are constantly fellowshipping with God, if the last thing you do before you sleep is just eat and watch TV, you will never see anything. But after your dinner, if you go inside your room and you begin to sing to your father, you begin to worship him, you talk to him, he talks to you, he will reveal things to you. Hallelujah. God is a spirit. And, uh, and the Lord now says, he is seeking those who worship him in spirit and in truth. He is tired of hypocrites. He is looking for real children who will worship him, not just in church, not just for show, not just when everybody is around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. There is something called the secret place. Those who dwell in the secret place. There is a place in the heart of God the Father that is called the secret place. It's a place where you are alone with him, where he downloads information into your spirit, where he gives you direction. He shows you how to survive. It's even in your own interest. Hallelujah. It's not in your interest to be a religious person. Those who just come and worship and show everybody you can sing and pray, it's not in your interest. And we come together, it's okay. We learn together, we fellowship together. I'm not condemning that. It's needed. There's something called corporate anointing. When all of us come together, the Bible says one shall chase a thousand and two shall chase how many? Ten thousand. And fifty shall chase, shall chase how many? Ten thousand times ten thousand. Hallelujah. So there's something known as corporate anointing, but you must fellowship with God. You must learn to be alone with God. Hallelujah. Amen. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. In fact, when you, you, you spend time alone with God, you find time to be alone with him. That's when he knows you are really worshiping him. Because it's easy for all of us here to claim that we are Christians. Then when you begin to spend time alone, away from every other thing, to seek his face, to talk to him, to hear him, that's when you get closer to him. Hallelujah. Let's look at Matthew 6. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You need to find that time. We're a generation that finds time for nothing but looking for money. We don't have time for God. Hallelujah. Some are not here now. They don't have time. They have time for many other things. Now, that is foolish. Because if you don't have time for God, how can you succeed? Praise the Lord. Who is going to help you? Hallelujah. When he calls a meeting, you are not there. 
You find people think God delights in excuses. God has no time for excuses. God is a spirit and he must be worshipped. When he wants you to worship him, you better worship him. When he wants you to fast, you better fast and pray. When, wherever he wants you to be, you better be there. Hallelujah. Because that is where he will meet you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Matthew 6, verse 1. He said, take heed that you do not your arms before men to be seen of them, otherwise you have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. That is Jesus still talking. Hallelujah. Therefore, when thou doest arms, do not sound a trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do in the synagogues <laughs> and in the streets that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou doest arms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thy arms may be in secret. And thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. Amen. Amen. There's something called the secret place. Everybody say the secret place. Secret place. Hallelujah. God wants, to, wants us to come to that place where we are intimate with him. Where it's not everything that, that is between you and him that must be revealed to everybody. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a place of intimacy. <laughs> if you are married to somebody and uh, there is no intimacy, that marriage is dead. Praise the Lord. That marriage will not survive. And it's the same thing. You know, there was, a, there, <laughs> there was a woman of God that was preaching on this a long time ago in the U.S. And she made an embarrassing statement. She said, who are you sleeping with? Are you sleeping with God or the devil? Praise the Lord. Who are you intimate with? Are you intimate with God or with demons? Praise the Lord. And there's only one way for you to be in intimacy with God. You have to take a decision that you're going to spend time in his presence. And everything you do, everything he reveals to you, must be between you and him. Now we are, we are saying we need to take pledges for the good Samaritan. If God the Father told you, give a million dollars to the poor, it's between you and him. Hallelujah. And it, do it to his praise and glory. Do it so that people will see your reward openly. Hallelujah. Whatever he tells you to do, put it in your heart and do it. If he tells you, I need you to be singing in the choir. Do it with your whole heart. He tells you to be an usher. Do it. Don't, don't, don't do it half-heartedly. Hallelujah. Let that intimacy between you and God be there. If he wants, whatever he wants you to do, put it in your heart. The Bible says, when the angel told Mary that Jesus will be born, and Jesus will die on the cross. She kept these things in her heart. She believed them and she kept these things in her heart. And she, she raised him accordingly and followed him up because the, she took those things to heart. One of the reasons why Christianity is dying today is that there is no secret place between you and God. Everything he tells you, you do what you like with it. But God wants that intimacy. Praise the Lord. Verse 5. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Let me, let me just stop there for now. When it is time to pray now, some of us will be praying, co, 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 ka, ka, ka. The, the tongues even have no meaning. You don't even, the, the, that tongue is mechanical. It's not doing anything. You're just showing everybody you can speak in tongues. It's not helping you. It's not helping God. Hallelujah. Oh, maybe we are even just praying. You're just clapping your hand, but your heart is not there. Hallelujah. That's what hypocrites do. They pray for a show. 
But your heart must be there. Hallelujah. Your heart must be there. You must be real. Hallelujah. Say, but thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. He is looking at your heart. He is looking at what you are saying. He is, he is, he is listening. He wants to know if what you really mean, what, I mean what you say is what you mean. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Remember the woman that was going after Jesus and saying, I need you to help my daughter. She's demon possessed. And Jesus just passed. And then she kept talking. Lord, have mercy on me. And then the disciples said, just chase this woman. She's a nuisance. And she, she would not stop. And then the Lord now said, ah, I'm not even sent to her. And then she kept talking. And then the Lord called her a dog. Hallelujah. And she kept worshiping. And the Lord turned and said, no, you are serious. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Nothing could stop her. The same thing with blind bad news. He, he was blind. He was helpless. He was crying out. Jesus, our son of David, have mercy on me. The Lord passed like he didn't hear. Why is it that the prayers are being delayed? He's waiting for your heart to be honest. He's waiting for sincerity of heart. Hallelujah. He's waiting to see that you will really, really commit yourself to him, to his word, to his church. Hallelujah. Hey, look, answered prayers is not about going from church to church. It's about commitment to the secret place. You know, this is where God has put you. Ah, even if it takes him 40 years, ah, he's going to find me here. And he's going to find me faithful. And I will come on time. One day, God will say, yes. Well done. You good, faithful servant. I told you the testimony of a woman, one of our ushers in Nigeria in those days. She used to just carry my daughter and stand at the door. Kemi. Whenever she saw me at the pulpit, she would start to cry. She wanted to come to me. So she would just carry her and just stand at the door throughout the service. And she did that religiously for months. And she had no child. And one day the Lord said, call that woman who is always carrying your child to come forward. He defined her. Hallelujah. He defined her. I know her name. The Lord knew her name, but he defined her role in the church. Who is always carrying your child? <laughs> I will never forget. That girl is now married. She, she gave birth, the woman, I mean, gave, got pregnant that day, that, that, in that service, God gave her the child, and then after that, I think she got four other children, praise the Lord, and that girl, Esther, was leading the choir till about three years ago when she got married, clap for Jesus Christ, <laughs> hallelujah, that was born through that prophecy, amen, God defined her, God is looking at you. May he reward you. May you be there on the day of your reward. Let me repeat that. On the day that you are to be rewarded, may you be in church. Hallelujah. Let me repeat that for you. On the day of your reward, may God also accept your work. Hallelujah. May he accept what you do in his house. May it be such that he will say, no, I need to reward so and so. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let me tell you, there's a secret place that in the heart of God the Father. Every time I travel on mission, he will come to me and give me a reward. Personally. He will tell me for, for this one, and he will tell me what it is. For this one that you have done, because he knows it's not easy. Hallelujah. 
He would tell me exactly what he would do in my life, what he would do in the ministry, what he would do for my children. Clap for the Lord. Hallelujah. Because he knows that there are many, many bishops, overseers who will never go into those bushes. They won't go there. They would rather be on television. Praise the Lord. <laughs> but people are in those bushes that love the Lord. That must be reached. And so every time you make that effort, they will say, thank you. There must be a secret place between you and God. May you find it in the name of Jesus. Something you are doing that pleases him. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 It says your father that sees you in secret. Now many people may not even know your motive for doing it. But your father sees your motive. He sees that it's because you love him and you love the people. That's why you are doing what you do. He will reward you openly. Say, but when you pray, use not vain repetition. Now he's talking about prayer. As the hidden do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. That is, prayer is answered in relationship. Hallelujah. Power flows in relationship. If you don't have relationship with God, and you don't have a secret place, something that God is appreciating in your life, in your service, and all you do is crack, coco, shake, a day, day. you clap your hand, you hit your head on the wall, you're wasting your time. Hallelujah. You are, you, are, you are using vain repetition. That is, you are repeating things that God is not interested in. He wants a fellowship with you first. Amen? Be in fellowship with him. When you are in fellowship with God, let me tell you, the secret place is a place where once you find it, even if you are just thinking, that, oh, I think I need this or that, God will provide it. If you just say, Father, in the name of Jesus, before you finish, he has answered. Because your life pleases him. Hallelujah. Amen. You will not be struggling. You won't struggle for anything. Angels will be around that are, are, are watching over you and meeting your needs. It's called the benefits of the secret place. Be a worshiper in, in, in spirit and in truth. Don't be a man pleaser. Don't do, if you don't want to do anything, don't do it. But if you have to do it, do it with your whole heart and do it on time. Don't drag your feet. Don't be late to where you are supposed to be. Don't, don't murmur. Just do it with your whole heart. God that sees your heart, he will reward you openly. Hallelujah. He said, be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask. Do you see that? So if you and your father are intimate, he knows what you need. Hallelujah. All the fathers that are here, they know what their children need. Praise the Lord. Now, there's a place where the disciples actually ask the Lord, teach us to pray. I think it's in the book of Luke. But here he goes straight to how we should relate with God the Father. So after this manner, therefore, pray ye our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. That is worship. Amen? Amen? Are you listening? Many of us, we come late to praise and worship. <laughs> you come late. To worship time. You just say, I will just be in church when the message starts. You don't understand. And uh, another thing I'll tell you is this. If you don't have a heart of worship in your house, you will never have it in church. If you are not somebody who loves to worship God in the secret place, when you are singing in church, you will just be singing flat. There will be no fire in it. There will be no life in it because you have not developed that secret place of worship. Praise the Lord. So the first thing, when you want to develop this relationship with God the Father, is a heart of worship. Amen? And, and, and you know, 
I, I know that many times when we try to pray, God will be telling you, worship, worship. The Holy Spirit will tell you, worship. Am I talking to somebody? But then you want to pray. No, but before you can pray, the worship is what is going to open the heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Worship is like greeting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You, you immediately take yourself and put yourself in his throne room. To say, Father, I greet you. Father, I thank you. Father, you are awesome. You are wonderful. It doesn't have to be when we are here. You can do it 24-7. Hallelujah. When you think of his goodness, you think of his mercy, you think of his love, you just open your mouth and say, thank you, Father. Father, you are just beautiful. You, you just, you, it becomes a lifestyle. Amen. Amen. And then if you have that heart of worship, the next thing the Lord says, you must say, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Apart from worshiping God, you must be interested in what interests him. Are you hearing me? You must be kingdom minded. You must be interested in what pleases him, his kingdom on earth. Thy kingdom come. Look, again, if you want God to be interested in what concerns you, be interested in building his kingdom. Be interested in his kingdom. Pray for all those people in the Shebins. Pray for the prostitutes. Pray for people that you don't know. Hallelujah. Thy kingdom come. Pray for his presence in his church. Be interested in his kingdom. Pray for souls that are backsliding. Everything that interests him should interest you. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It is his will that men be saved. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But if after worship, what you told him yesterday or three days ago, or three months ago, is what you keep telling him. You have no relationship with him. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? One day he will tell you, shut up. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He will tell you, keep quiet. Pray for somebody else. Pray about something else. He's training you that, look, don't be selfish. Hallelujah. I have people out there who are dying. People in the hospital, pray for them. People that have no food to eat. Remember three days ago, before I said before we do anything, let's pray about this weather. Did God answer the prayer? Yeah. He did. Why did I say let's pray about it? Uh -uh. I'm very comfortable. If it's in my office, I have heater. In my house, I have a heater. I have, I have in my bedroom. I have everywhere. I'm comfortable where I live. But I know there are people who are not comfortable. People who live in zinc houses, for example. We need to think of them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That is how you develop a relationship with God. He sees your heart. He knows that, oh, this one is not just using my power for him or herself. Praise the Lord. May you receive that understanding. After you have worshipped him and you have been concerned about his kingdom, about, his, about other people, and about his will to be done on earth. His main will is for the salvation of men on earth. You've prayed about that. Then you can pray for your need. Give us this day our daily bread. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know what we do? We don't even care to worship him. When we just, we just wake up, oh my God. I don't have a job. You thought of that before you slept. You woke up, you are thinking, I have no job. I am not married. I don't have a child. Come on now. Hallelujah. Before you slept, you were thinking of that problem. When you woke up, you are thinking of that. The problem will never go. Are you hearing me? Because it has become your God. Amen. So, Think of your father. Worship him before you sleep. Worship him when you wake up. Think of his kingdom. Then, in fact, do you know that in the process of 
worshiping him, he can tell you, what do you want? Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? He said, can you tell me what you need? Sometimes even without praying, your father knows what you need. He will come to you and tell you, ask for anything you want now. And then you, you, you are shocked because you are not, that's, you remember the story of Zechariah? I don't know if you remember Zechariah. Huh? Zechariah was worshiping. Zechariah had prayed and prayed until he could pray no more for a child. And so he, he just went to do his work. Hallelujah. In the chapel, he, he went himself and the wife. The Bible says they were righteous before God. They loved God. And they were barren. It didn't say but. And. Praise the Lord. Amen. And they were barren. And, uh, and Zechariah was just worshipping. You know the story. And suddenly, ever say suddenly. When you are, you are in that secret place, when you and God have connected, where you say to yourself, if he blesses me, I will worship him. If he doesn't bless me, I will worship him. One day he will embarrass you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Job says, I know my redeemer live it. He says, even if he slays me, I will worship him. Praise the Lord. You have to develop that secret place, that secret love, attraction to God Almighty. Now, your relationship with him will not anchor on, on materialism or, 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 or the things of this world, but just because you love him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And you can just give us this day our daily bread. That's also legitimate. You can ask for what you need. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. I want you to understand that God is a God of relationship and is a God of love. Hallelujah. He's a God of judgment, but he's a God of love. You have to be careful what you do with your heart towards other people. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There are times that God will give us authority to judge darkness. If witches are going too far, you can judge them. But usually, he wants us to forgive and hope. Hallelujah. That something will happen. Something good will happen. So you must learn to ask God to forgive you as you forgive others. And as you are praying those prayers, it will put people in your heart that you need to forgive. You just need to release them. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. That is a very, very important prayer. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. I want you to lift up your hands and say, thine is the kingdom, the power, and glory forever. Amen. The power doesn't belong to the devil. The kingdom does not belong to Satan. A lot of people have more respect for witches and wizards than they have for God. I have news for you. They are not in charge. Hallelujah. God is absolutely in charge. God created the heaven and the earth. He created the devil, their father. Hallelujah. So there is no need for you to live in perpetual fear of wickedness. You have authority to judge those powers. Praise the Lord. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. You know, maybe those of us, in, I mean, we the Pentecostals, we need to go back to the Lord's Prayer. Wake up in the morning and say, Our Father which art in heaven, because that will teach you something. Because we have not understood that, that relationship with God the Father. Amen. And you can never call him your father unless you call Jesus your brother. <laughs> there is no way you can call God your father if Jesus is not in you. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the father except through me. Praise the Lord. So before you can say our father, you have to be born again. Amen. 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 
And Jesus leaves a small note there. But if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. So always search your heart and see that you don't have anybody in your heart. Hallelujah. I'll, let me teach you something. <laughs> that one is enjoying us. <laughs> if somebody has offended you or you feel there's some, call the person. That's what Jesus teaches us in Matthew 18. Amen? Just speak the truth to the person and say, I don't like what you are doing. Praise the Lord. But don't keep anybody in your heart. Praise God. And release the person. Praise the Lord. Amen? Amen? I will leave you with this note that if you really want to understand the teachings of the Lord concerning God the Father and concerning your salvation, read this Matthew 5, 6, 7. Over, I've said it before and again and again. Read it over and over again and study the Gospel of John. Amen? Amen. Now, how does Jesus relate with the Father? Because I don't want you to think, oh, now Jesus is no longer relevant. Ah, without him, you cannot relate with the Father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm sure you know that without Jesus... You cannot go to the Father. I'm sure we all know that, right? Praise the Lord. Let's look at John 14. I'm going to go into the Gospel of John now, where I want you to see the relationship between the Lord and his Father and how he keeps drawing us to the Father. Amen? John 14. Verse 20. At that day ye shall know that I'm in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. This is the day. I said this is the day. Amen. That you will know that he is in the Father, and you are in him, and he is in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 21, he that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him, and I will manifest myself to him. Amen? Now the Lord, you will see as I go on, that he's going to tell you that whatever commandments is given, given us to keep, came from the father. Hallelujah. Now he says, if you love him, Keep his commandment. Amen. Amen. If you keep his commandment, it's evidence that you love him. And then the Father will love you. Hallelujah. That's another secret. If you want God the Father to love you, do what Jesus says. Hallelujah. And I will love him. He said, I will love you also. And I will manifest myself to him. Not only will he love you, he will reveal things to you. He will reveal himself to you. He will reveal your life to you. He will reveal secrets to you. You will be close to him. Clap for the Lord. Hallelujah. Because every time you hear, keep my commandment, you flinch. You don't want to keep any commandment. You just want to be blessed. It's not in your interest. Keep his commandment. It will show you many, many things. Hallelujah. Verse 23. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him. And we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Hallelujah. All these things you are hearing, you think it's Elizabeth talking. Sorry. <laughs> I'm saying, thus hear the Lord. If you keep these instructions you are hearing, the Lord will love you. God the Father will love you, and they will dwell in you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. They, that's how I live my life. I live for God. Praise the Lord, and that's the truth. 
Everybody knows that. If you don't know that, sorry, I live for him alone. That's my husband. He knows that. My children know that. Hallelujah. He comes first because if you know that secret, there is nothing that you want from him that he will not do for you. And you will also secure your eternal life. Amen? Amen. It says, I and the Father will love you and we will dwell in you. We will, they will be living inside you. Verse 24, he that loveth me not keepeth not my saints. And the word ye, which ye hear is not mine, but the fathers which sent me. Do you see that? Do you see that? I've told you that Jesus and the Father, they are together. He said, everything you are hearing, I'm taking it from the Father and I'm giving it to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He uh, says, these things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said to you. So, uh, you know, if you, if you read the Bible, especially this Gospel of John, and you don't catch a revelation of the Father, and the relationship of the Father and the Son, and the Father heart of God, and the heart of the Son towards his Father, something will be missing. You need to catch it. They walk together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He is the one talking to the Father about us as we are sitting here now. He is interceding for us. He is talking to the Father. Look at, look at um, verse 12. Okay, let, let's, let's take it from verse uh, 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth, ye know him and have seen him. That's the, that's, that's the plain truth. The moment you know Jesus, you will know the Father. The moment he enters into your heart, you and the Father will start to communicate. The moment you begin to read the word, God, God the Father will reveal himself, the Lord will reveal himself. Now Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and he sufficed us. <laughs> Jesus said unto him, have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how said thou then, show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. Do you see that? But uh, the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can somebody take that child and go and take care of the child somewhere? Because I don't know what is going on there. Amen. So the Lord says, he's not talking of himself. Everything that we are receiving is coming from the Father. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now he says something, believe me that I'm in the Father. And the Father in me, or else, believe me for the very work six. So, it's, it's, it's an intricate relationship. Jesus is saying, if you don't believe that himself and the Father are working together, if you don't believe that you need to also involve the Father in your life, he says, look at the miracles in your life. He's telling you that those miracles are coming from the Father. Hello, are you hearing me? Because you need to understand this. You need to get this revelation. You need to involve the Father in your prayers. You need to involve him in your heart. You need to stop being mechanical. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hey, we do that. But let the Father be in the secret of your heart. Know that you are calling him, knowing that you are anchored to the Father. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let me read that to you again. Verse 10. Believest thou not that I am in the Father, 
and the Father in me, the words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works sake. If you can have that revelation, you have more miracles in your life. If you can just have that revelation, you have more miracles in your life. If you can keep God the Father inside your business, that's all that I'm trying to reveal to you. If you can connect your heart to him, instead of being a mechanical Christian, you have more breakthroughs in your life. Clap for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, even the disciples, they, they, they couldn't relate with God the Father. They, couldn't, they didn't understand how to relate with him. Hallelujah. And that's why Jesus was struggling and telling them, if you don't believe, I, I, he was telling Philip, have you seen me and you are saying you haven't seen the Father? He said, okay, if you don't believe that I'm in the Father and the Father is in me, I want you to understand that everything I'm telling you is from him. And then he said again, if you don't believe, look at the miracles. They are coming from him. Clap for God the Father. Hallelujah. <laughs> then he says, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than this shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Hallelujah. Please pay attention to what you are hearing. If you say you believe in Jesus, he says your life is about to change if you can believe that he is with God the Father representing you. Talking to God the Father on your behalf. If you can involve God the Father in the business, you will begin to see changes. Hallelujah. It's not that we don't involve him. We always say, Father, in the name of Jesus, is that not so? But what the Lord is, is, is trying to teach us or reveal to us is that we need to anchor our hearts to that God the Father. Hallelujah. We need to believe that God the Father is in charge of everything. We need to believe that he is the one that sent Jesus. We need to really believe it and live it. Amen. And fellowship with him as such. And be grateful to him and talk to him and let him know we believe him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In, in, in verse 13, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye ask anything in my name, I will do it. Then he says, I will pray the Father. Verse 16, and he shall give you another comforter. So everything is about the Father. Hello? Come on our church. I say everything is about God the Father. Through the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I want to show you more scriptures. Amen. Now, John, if you look at John 16. John 16. I don't want to take your time. It, he, he really struggled. He struggled with the disciples like he's struggling with you and I now, he struggled with the Pharisees to reveal God the Father to them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May your understanding be open. In John 16, verse 23, pay attention to this one. It's very powerful. It says, in that day, everybody say, this is the day. Say it again. Say it again. It says, in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Do you know there are some people that say they are Jesus only people? There's a church called Jesus only. They have missed that revelation. 
of the Father. Because Jesus did not come to propagate himself. He came to propagate the Father. Hallelujah. He came to obey the Father. He came to point us to the Father. He says, I'm the way, the truth, the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. He didn't say we should just be worshiping him. We should worship him and the Father, the Father in him, him in the Father. We should not neglect the Father. That's what he's saying. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He says, in that day, in the day of your revelation, which is today, in the day that you'll understand that God the Father has a role to play in your life and in your salvation. He says there is nothing you will ask for, from the Father in his name that he will not do. He that will have ye ask nothing in my name, ask and ye shall receive that your joy may be full. These things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs. But the time cometh when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs, but I shall show you plainly of the Father at that day. Everybody say, this is the day. Ye shall ask in my name, and I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you. Hey, in the day that your eyes are open to God the Father. He said, I'm not saying that I will just be praying for you. I want you to connect with him. Hallelujah. May you connect with God the Father. For the Father himself loveth you, verse 27, because ye have loved me and have believed that I came out from God. I came forth from the Father. I am not coming to the world again. I live, I am, sorry, and I'm coming to the world again. I leave the world and go to the Father. I came forth from the Father, and I'm coming to the world. Again, I leave the world. I go back to the Father. He, say, he sent me. You cannot neglect him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's come to point us to the Father. And I believe this is what is really lacking in the body of Christ. That fellowship with God the Father is missing. Hallelujah. And we need to have, get it right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now look at verse 32. It says, verse 31, Jesus answered them, Do you believe, do you now believe? Behold, the world, the hour cometh, Yea, is now come that ye shall be scattered every man to his own and shall leave me alone. And yet I'm not alone because the Father is with me. <laughs> the owner of heaven and earth is with me. Jesus used to boast about the Father a lot. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, why, why am I laying this emphasis? See, People are in balance. Some people, they will say, they will just be talking, when, you know, when people are translating for me, they will be saying, Kalunga, Kalunga, Kalunga. I, I say, no, you have to say Kalunga in the name of Jesus Christ because there are many Kalungas. And that's why God is saying, you need to go through the Son to the Father. Hallelujah. The only way he can be sure that you belong to him is when you pass through the cross. Because there are many gods out there. And the only way the Lord Jesus Christ can be sure that you are talking about his father is when you also pass through the cross. He is the intermediary. Hallelujah. He is the one that makes things possible by the Father. Praise the Lord. So they walk together, but then he wants you to recognize the Father as a serious entity in your life. The moment you have that revelation, let me repeat that often and often, your life will never be the same again. You, you will know you are dealing with the owner of heaven and earth. You will know you are dealing with the one who is in charge of your life. Amen. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Now, Jesus, I want to just read a few scriptures and then we will pray. John 6, 44 to 46. If you want to get this revelation, go and study the gospel of John. Get your highlighter and highlight everywhere that Jesus has spoken about the Father. Hallelujah. Highlight it and study it for yourself. John 6, 44 to 46 says, No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me. Who sent him? Who draw him? And I will raise him up at the last day. Amen. So he says, here, the Father has sent me. And for you to come to me, the Father needs to send you to him. So the Father is in charge. Hallelujah. Amen. Then he goes on to say, in verse 45 to 46, it is written, the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Every man, therefore, that had heard and had learned of the Father, cometh unto me. Not that any man had seen the Father, save he which is of God, he has seen the Father. So, essentially, before you can even go to Jesus, you pass through the Father also. Hallelujah. All of us here, we, we, were, we were worshiping God the Father somewhere. Is that, is that not so? We were worshiping God somewhere. As a Catholic, as a Presbyterian, as an Anglican. Is that not so? Maybe as a Muslim. Or even uh, as an idol worshiper. Idol worshippers also call God. You don't know? They just don't know who they are calling. <laughs> Praise the Lord. John 8 verse 19. Then said they unto him, where is thy father? <laughs> you see, the Pharisees had issues. Amen? May you not have that issue. Jesus answered, You neither know me nor my father. If you had known me, you should have known my father also. Ah, may you not have that issue of not knowing the father. Because it's evidence that you don't know the son. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, church, are you following me? Are you, are you hearing something? I want to show you something in 1 John quickly. 1 John chapter 2, verse 22. <laughs> Who is a liar but he that denies that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledges the Son had the Father also. You see that? Hallelujah. Amen. So they walk together. Jesus says, you Pharisees, you have an issue because you don't believe me. That if you really want to see God the Father, open your heart to Jesus. You will see the Father. Hallelujah. Verse 28 of the same John 8 to 29. Then said Jesus unto them, when ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, and am, that I do nothing of myself. Do you see that? Do you see that? Why are we doing things of ourselves? You must relate with God the Father. Clap for God the Father. Hallelujah. <laughs> Clap for him. Oh. Wake up. Jesus does nothing of himself. Say, but as my Father had taught me, I speak these things. And he that sent me is with me. The Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is so crucial. I hope you're underlining it in your Bible. Then said Jesus to them, when you have crucified me, then you will know that I am he that God the Father has sent. You will realize that I did nothing of myself. Why is he saying that? Because God the Father will come to the rescue. God the Father will raise him up. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, as my Father has taught me, and he says in earlier on, all the ones that the Father has taught, they will come to him. May the Father teach you. And say, may he teach you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to lift up your hands. He says, the Father doesn't ever leave me because I do those things that please him. Lift up your hands and say, Father, teach me to please you. Teach me to do the things that please you. 
open your mouth and pray that prayer. The things that please you. So that you will never leave me alone. You will never leave me. You will never leave my family. Teach me to please you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. John 8, 54 to 55, Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my Father that honoreth me, of whom ye say, that is your God. Yet ye have not known him, but I know him. And if I should say, I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him and keep his saying. The problem here is the Pharisees, they think they know God. Amen? And Jesus is saying, if you say you know God the Father, you're supposed to know me. And vice versa. Amen? Amen. So as we say we know Jesus, may we know God the Father in the name of Jesus. May we have a revelation of God the Father in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. John 5.23 that all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, which has sent him. I just want to establish this, that, you know, with all these scriptures, that Jesus keeps saying, God the Father sent me. I can do nothing without God the Father. And he honors me because I obey him. Amen. And I want you to follow his example. Hallelujah. John 5, 44. How can ye believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? John 12, 43. For they love the praise of men more than the praise of God. That's another thing we need to be aware of. That we need to seek the honor that comes from God only. Amen. We need to seek approval from God the Father only. We need to be like Jesus, focused on God the Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. John 16, 23, I think we have read that. Hallelujah. And John 14, we have read. John 14, 12 to 14. John 20. 19 to 21, and then we will pray. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut. Hey, I want you to pay attention to this. Please stand up. Stand up to, 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 to receive it. Because it's very, very important. Hallelujah. Let's read it together. I want to go from verse 19. Then the same day at evening... Being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them, Peace be unto you. And when he had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his side. And then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be be unto you as my father has sent me, even so send I you. That's what gave birth to all this revelation. You know, when I came back and I saw what I saw in the churches and some of the dreams I began to see, and I said, Lord, isn't this a waste of time? To be teaching these people, they are not saved. Many people, God showed me a lot of people. And he said, he said, even me, I dare not do this work without bringing in the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, it is time for you to point the church to the Father. Clap for Jesus Christ. He said, as the Father has sent me, so have I sent you. So you are not on your own. Hallelujah. You have to deliberately, intentionally hand over your life to the Father. Hand over your business to God the Father. Hand over your family to God the Father. I'm handing over the church to God the Father. I have released you to God the Father. I want to see how you are going to escape. 
clap for Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want to see how you are going to backslide. I want to see how that witchcraft is going to prosper. I want to see how that evil foundation will prosper. Because God the Father must take control. Hallelujah. That's what gave birth to all these revelations that I'm sharing with you. He told me clearly. He said, even me, I dare not talk to the, to the people without pointing them to God the Father. And when you look at that, John chapter 5, John chapter 8, John chapter 6, chapter 14 that we have just read. It's all about God the Father. First is with the Pharisees who couldn't stomach him because they thought they knew the Father. And he told them, you're a liar. If you, know, if you know me, you will know the Father. And then it's with the disciples who didn't understand. They just said, ah, just show us the Father. And then he said, look, <laughs> if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. If you have witnessed my miracles, you have seen the Father. I and the Father, we are one. I don't do anything without the permission of the Father. I don't honor myself. The Father honors me. What else do you want? What else do we want to hear? He has given us the key. Hallelujah. I say I have the key. I don't know about you. Have you understood? Have, did you understand something? <laughs> I don't think you did. Did you? How many of you understood what I've been trying to tell you for the past three days? That without the Father, you are nothing. You can call Jesus from morning till night. If they doesn't see a relationship between you and God the Father, and that relationship stems from worship, from obedience, from the fear of God, which is the beginning of wisdom. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're going to sing is your name in the book of life. Do you know the song? Because if you know the Son, you will know the Father. Hallelujah. Choir, are you ready to sing that song? It's your name in the book of life. Do you know the Son? Let's come forward. Let's come forward. We're going to pray. And we're going to the anointing service. Praise the Lord. Maybe you are wondering if I'm not hungry. I'm also hungry. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I did exactly what I told you to do. Drink herbal tea with honey or sugar or water with sugar and eat a fruit, a banana, and I'm strong. How many of you know that this fast is very good? Huh? How many of you know this fast is good? You don't like it? I will make you on seven days. <laughs> you will be coming here alone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Seriously, this fast is good. You don't feel... How many of you know that it's good? You just feel strong. How many of you want it to continue? <laughs> you want it to continue? Can we do it together? 100 days. <laughs> Hallelujah. You want to continue? It's very nice. But you will eat breakfast in the morning. <laughs> Praise the Lord. What is that he's saying? This is the story of a brother who slept and woke up in Foreverland. He looked around, nothing's familiar. He wondered how he got to be there He took a walk around the city And saw this big house with a small door He walked into the room and saw a man in white Must be an angel, so we say Mr. Angel, I'm a stranger, don't know what's going on The last thing I remember was I slept last night This is the part of town that takes you where you get a crown Master fed of heaven where you came from 
Only those whose name I find written in this book of life will forever be in paradise. Is your name in this book of life? Is your name in this book of life? Yeah. Is your name in this book of life? Is your name in this book of life? Yeah. Flipping the pages of this great book. This brother gave a cursory gaze He saw the names of prophets, saints and martyrs Who kept the faith and the won the race But he said, Mr. Angel, where is my name? Can you tell me what is going wrong? I'm a pillar in my local church Give the offerings and the tithes Feed the poor and have myself a good name Is my name in this book of life? Is my name in this book of life? Yeah. Is my name in this book of life? Is my name in this book of life, yeah. Unforgiveness lags within your heart. Some faults that you will never let go. Little foxes and secret foes who spring surprises on that final day. Oh, 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 oh. So much for this wonder, brother. What about you? What about him? Let him who thinks that he stands. Let him take heed lest you fall Only the pure in heart will see Jesus Those who come and go with purity Is your name in this book of life? Is your name in that book of life there? Is your name in that book of life? Is your name in that book of life? Yeah. Think, Think about, about it. Is my name in this book of life? Is my name in this book of life here? Tell me. Is my name in this book of life? Is my name in this book of life? There's so much for this wonder brother. What about you? What about me? Let him who thinks that he stands, let him take heed lest he falls. Only the pure in heart we see Jesus. Those whose garments glow with purity. Is your name in this book of life? Yeah. Is your name in the book of life? There. Is your name in the book of life? Think about it. Let's lift up our hands. This is the time to ask the Lord. You can ask him right now. And he will tell you, Lord is my name in that book. 
We don't wait until we get to that land and the angels are flipping the pages looking for our name. This is the story of a brother. Can you sing it? Who slept and woke up in forever, forever land. land. He, he looked, looked around, around and things familiar. He wondered how he got to be there. He took a walk around the city. And saw the brick house with a small door. He walked into the room and saw remain in white. Must be an angel, so we say. Mr. Angel, I'm a stranger. Don't know what's going on. The last thing I remember was a sleepless night. This is a part of town. That takes you away, you get a crown. Master fed of heaven, where you came from. Only those whose name I find written in this book of life will forever be in paradise. Is your name in this book of life? Is your name in this book of life? Yeah. Is your name in this book of life? Is your name in this book of life? Yeah. Flipping the pages of this great book, this brother gave a cursory gaze. He saw the names of prophets, saints, and martyrs. Who kept the faith and won the race? But he said, Mr. Angel, where is my name? Can you tell me what is going wrong? I'm a pillar in my local church. Give the offerings and the tithes, feed the poor, and have myself a good name. Is my name in this book of life? Is my name in this book of life? Tell me, is my name in this book of life? Is my name in this book of life? Unforgiveness lurks within your heart. Some folks that you will never let go. Little foxes and secret faults Who spring surprises on that final day oh, oh. So much for this wonder, brother what about you? What about me? Let him who thinks that he stands. Ushers, can you take this? Let him please? take heed lest he falls. Only the pure in heart will see Jesus. Those who's come and go with purity. Is your name in that book of life? Tell me, is your name in that book of life? Is your name in that book of life? Is your name in that book of life? Think about it. Hallelujah. This guy had got a surprise. Told the angel, what's my problem? I'm a pillar in my local church. I gave my offerings, I gave my tithes, I fed the poor. I have a good name in the church. Why is my name not in the book of life? And the angel said, there's some forgiveness in your heart. There are little foxes that spoil your vine. 
Secret sins. Secret faults. Is my name in the book of life? Now lift up your hand and begin to ask the Lord. Talk to God the Father because he is the one that has the pen and pencil in his hand right now. And is willing to do business with you. I say, Father, I want my name in the book of life. Anything in my life that will not allow you to write my name in the book of life, if it has never been written, my Father, reveal it to me. Glorify your name in my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Abba Father, let my name be in the book of life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anything inside me, anything in me, anything I'm thinking, anything I'm doing that is taking my name out of the book of life, my Father, have mercy on me, forgive me, and show me everybody pray. Don't play any instruments, just pray for yourself. Lift up your voices to God and say, Father, because on the last day, there will be surprises. All those secret thoughts, secret desires, secret sins. All those things that you think nobody knows about. And that everybody thinks you are a pillar in the house of God. Everybody thinks you are a bishop, you are a pastor, you are clean. There will be surprises on that day. And you yourself, you give yourself pass mark. I pay my tithes, I give to the poor, I, I, I go to the prison, I go to the hospital, I preach the gospel, I go on mission, lift up your hands and say, my father, this is the hour of truth. I want my name in the book of life. Whatever is wrong with me, reveal it to me. Don't let, don't let me get a, a surprise, an unpleasant surprise on that final day. Is your name in the book of life? Is my name? This should be our this should be our concern every morning when you wake up, every night before you sleep. Because who told you you will even wake up from that sleep? Is your name in the book of life? Are you ready to meet your creator? Talk to your father. Abba Father, you, you are the one that brought me to the Lord Jesus Christ. You are the one that must help me to make sure that my name is in that book of life. You are the one that drew me to the Lord Jesus. You are the one that sent the Lord Jesus to save me from hellfire. My Father, I need your help. I need your mercy. I need my name in the book of life. I need my name there. I need my name there. I need assurance that my name is written. I want you to pray like you have never prayed before. For. Begin to pray in tongues. Talk to God the Father. Jesus on the cross said, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? He called out to him. He said, Abba Father. Enough of secret sins. Enough of open sins. Enough of foolishness. Enough of pretense. Is your name in that book? Or are you playing church? Are you, are you just, uh, are you just uh, impressing people? Showing people that you love God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Lift up your right hand and say, Abba, Father. Abba, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are coming to you. On behalf of all Christ love churches, on behalf of our families, Father, glorify your name in our lives. Everything in our lives that don't glorify you, Father, help us to remove them. Help us to repent in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us 
to keep your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray, pray, pray. Is your name in the book of life? Have you ever even wondered if your name is there? Have you been thinking about your soul? What does salvation mean to you? What does being born again mean? Does it mean just having a good time, coming to church and getting miracles and getting blessed? Or does it mean having your name in the book of life? Is your name there? Tell the Lord to show you, to reveal to you, where is my father? Father, how am I doing? How am I doing? How am I doing? Abba Father, how am I doing? Reveal yourself to me. Reveal Jesus to me. Show me the things that will disturb me on that day. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus, after he has died for us, even before he died for us, he was praying. And after he died, he keeps praying. Because eternity is no joke. In John 17, 11, it says, Holy Father, keep, keep all the ones. Let's read John 17, verse 11. All that you have given me in your name. It said, Now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, that I, and I come to thee. Holy Father, keep through thy own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. Hallelujah. Let's lift up our two hands. Say, Father, Father Holy Father, Father, keep all the members of Christ Love Ministries International and all our families through your own name that we may be one with you and the Lord Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's repeat the prayers of the Lord. He said, keep them through your own name, that they may be one with you as I am one with you. It is the will of God the Father to, to make us to be one with him and one with the Son. Only Father, keep all the members of these ministries, all our family members through your own name, that we may be one with you and the Lord Jesus Christ. Help us to be one with you and your son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Help us, Father. With you, nothing shall be impossible. You have the power to help us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Verse 12. Verse 12, quickly. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou givest me, I have kept. And none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Again, let's say, Father, keep us through your name. Keep me through your name. Keep my family through your name. Keep this church through your name. Keep these ministries through your name. Everyone in the body of Christ, keep us through your name. Help us. Let none of us be lost. Let none of our family members be lost. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray. Keep me through your name. Keep my family through your name. Keep my sons through your name. My daughters through your name. Keep this church, keep this ministry through your name. Don't let us be lost. Let none of us be lost. Jesus was praying. He said to the Father, I have kept them through your name. None of them is lost. Let the name of the Father keep us. Let the name of the Father keep our families. Let the name of the Father keep our churches. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Verse 13. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. Say, Father, according to the prayers 
of your son, the Lord Jesus Christ. May we all in Christ Love Ministries and all our family members have his joy fulfilled in ourselves in the name of Jesus Christ. Praying tongues, let his joy, his joy, his joy be fulfilled in you. That is one way to make sure that our name is in this book of life. Let may his joy be fulfilled in us. Let your joy, let the joy of the Lord, 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 let it be fulfilled in us. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. I have given them, verse 14, thy word and the world that hated them because they are not of the world. Even as I'm not of the world. 15. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. Praise the Lord. Let's lift up our hands. Abba, Father, even as the Lord Jesus Christ is not of the world, so are we not of the world. Keep us from the evils in the world through your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray against the evils that are in the world. We are not of the world. We don't belong to the world. The evils that are in this world that can keep our name out of the book of life. Abba Father. Abba Father, Abba Father, Abba Father. Rekase ke de boko sheka de baba ko de kaska de baba ko de kusonto. Re bako sonto ko de de. Pra ko de de ke se ke de baba ko de kusonto ka sento. Re baba ko de ke senta ra baba ko de kasanda ra baba. Ne masoko de baba ko de kasan. We are not of the world, even as he is not of the world. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to read that verse 16 to yourself. Say, I am not of the world. Because Jesus is not of the world. Therefore, you spirit of the world, I reject you in my life, in the church of God, in my family. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I am not of the world. This church is not of the world. These ministries are not of the world. My family is not of the world. Open your mouth and reject the spirit of the world that is taking your name out of the book of life. We are not of the world. We don't belong to the world because our Lord Jesus Christ is not of the world. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Verse 17. Sanctify them. Let's read it. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Say, Abba, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, sanctify us through your truth. Your word is the truth. Give us the hearts of flesh. Write your word on our hearts. In the name of Jesus Christ, sanctify us as a church, as a family, through your truth. Your word is truth. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray that we will read the word. We will understand the word. We will imbibe the word. The word will keep us. The word will keep us from falling. We will keep the word of God in our hearts. And the word will separate us from the world. And keep us. That is the purpose of the word of God. To sanctify us. And keep us from falling. In Jesus' name we pray.
from verse 20. Hallelujah. Neither pray I for this alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Verse 21. That they all may be one as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou givest me, I give them, that they may be one even as we are one. Hallelujah. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as you have sent the Lord, so he has sent us. Fill us with the same glory with which you glorified your son. Fill us with the same glory with which you sent the son. In the name of Jesus, pray that seriously. Let's receive the same glory. Let's lift up our hands that we may be one with the Father. The same glory. The same authority, the same mercy, the same anointing, the same power, the same understanding, the same loyalty that Jesus had to the Father, the same obedience, the same love for God, the Father. Father, we are asking, as Jesus has asked on our behalf, we are asking, we desire that same. Make us to be one with you. And the Lord Jesus Christ, Marco Sopoko Sheka de Babam, Praco de Casca de Babam, Rabba Baco Seke de Babam, Praco de de Casca de Baco de Baco de Cosun Toca de Babaco de Cresanto. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Father, help us to be one with you. As the Lord Jesus Christ, may the, may the Lord Jesus Christ be in us as you are in him, that we may be perfectly one, perfectly one with you, as he is one with you. In the name of Jesus, I want us to join our hands to pray that prayer. Say, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, help us to be one with you and the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord Jesus Christ be inside us as you are in him that we may be perfectly one with you and with the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray in tongues on that one. That, that is his desire. That we may be the same. Be in him as he is in the Father. That the glory of God the Father, the glory that he has, he has given to the Lord Jesus, that has made the Lord Jesus to love him so much as to obey him. Let that glory dwell in us as a church, as families, as individuals, as a body of Christ, as a nation. Nobody can receive anything except it be given by you, O oh Father. Abba, Father, we are asking for your help. Power to be like you. Power to be like Jesus. Power to carry the same glory. The same anointing. The same authority. The same fear of the Lord. In Jesus name we pray. We will pray that prayer again. Jesus was here. As a human being, he had all the power. He had all the authority. He could have run away. He said, I lay down my life. Nobody took it from me. That is why the Father loves me. Hallelujah. The Father gave him enough strength to obey him. That's what he's talking about. He said, as I was in you, as I am in you, so please let them be in me. Hallelujah. Let them carry the same glory. Let them not be rebellious. Jesus could have messed up. He was fully human. He could have run away. But he obeyed the father to the end. 
The Bible says, let this might be in you, which was in the Lord Jesus Christ. Say, Abba Father, Abba Father, Abba Father, give me the mind of Jesus. Give the person I'm holding the mind of Jesus Christ. Give our families the mind of Jesus. Give our church members the mind of Jesus Christ. Give Namibia. Give Africa. Oh, Father, nobody can receive anything except it be given by you. Abba, Father, Abba, Father. The same mind you gave to Jesus Christ to love you, to obey you to the point of death. Give it to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Kade bokoze, kade baba. Maso kade de kaske de baba kode kaske de bokozonto. Abba Father, baba kode kaske de baba. We need the mind of Jesus Christ. We need your mercy, oh Father. Pra kode de kaske kade baba. He was true to you. He was very humble. Makase kade de kaske kade de baba kode bokozo kade baba kode kasanto. Oh, makase kade baba, mashe kade de, rapaba, makode kaske de de, abba fada kad kaske de, bakode koso kade baba kode kasento. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray that prayer again. The Pharisees were on his case. His disciples were on his case. They denied him. They deserted him. They pushed him around. He was focused on God the Father. He refused to deny his father. He says, whatever he has sent me to do is what I will do. I and the father, we are the same. May we be like Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The world could not deter him. The, the, the demons could not deter him. Satan could not deter him. His mind was fixed on the father. Abba, father, may we be like Jesus. The same glory he has prayed for us. Answer that prayer, Abba, father. He prayed. He said he wants us to be in him. Even as he is in you. He wants us to be one with him. And one with you. My father, my father, my father, my father. We also want to be one with you. One in him. He says he was also praying for those who will believe through us. We are praying for ourselves. We are praying for our family members. We are praying for those who will believe through us. Abba Father Kadede Kosonto, give us the man mind of Jesus, the mind of obedience, the mind of humility, the mind of love. Oh, kade de kode ba kode kose kade ba ba kode kose kade ba ba kode kesento. In Jesus name we pray. Apostle Peter says if we suffer with him, we shall reign with him. If we don't run away from him, we shall reign with him. If we don't follow the world, we shall reign with him. That's what he's saying that uh, as the Father is in him, he wants us to be in him. Hallelujah. And in the Father. He's talking about the power, the glory, the wisdom, the authority of the Father. And, you know, when you carry those things, definitely you will suffer with him. Because the world will not understand you. Hallelujah. But you will also reign with him. Hallelujah. Say, Abba, Father, give us the mind of Christ. Help us to be like Christ. Help us to get, let Jesus be in us. So we can reign with him. In the name of Jesus Christ. We want to reign with you, O oh Lord. In wisdom, in knowledge, in anointing, in authority, in power. In sound mind, in health, in wealth. Makodede kosuko de bakode kezento. Kedede bakode bakode babakode kezento. Maseka de babakode kosuka de babakode kezento. Koseka de babakode kezento. Abafada bakode kezento. Rekaseka de babakode kosonto. Prakodede keseke de baba. Prakodede keseke de babakode kosuka de babakode kezento kosento. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray this prayer again. This is an amazing intercession for us. That the Lord wants us to be just like him. To be just like the father. To carry the same authority. The same wisdom. The same glory like the father. We will never trade that for the world. 
in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father, my father. In whatever way, I have traded your anointing for the world, for the flesh, for satanic power. Forgive me in the name of Jesus. In whatever way, as a church, we have traded your glory for the world, for the flesh, for, the, for, the, for satanic powers. Father, forgive us in the name of Jesus. Forgive our family members. Oh, we desire that glory from you, Makadede Kozonto. Father, restore that glory. Kezeke de Baba, Prakode Daka Seka de Baba, Masoka de Baba, Kode Kosoka de Baba, Rabba Baba Kosheka de Baba, Rabba Bakode Kesento, Reka Seka de Baba, Masoka de Baba, Rabba Bakode Kesento, Reke Seke de Baba Kode Kosonto. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus says that the world may know that he loves us and that we love him. Father, do that for us in the name of Jesus. Say, Abba, Father, open our eyes to behold the glory which you gave to the Lord Jesus Christ, that we may be where he is in you. Reveal that glory to us. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. The same glory, the same glory. Rapa kodeke seke de baba kodeka sand. Mako sheka de baba kodeka seka de baba. Rapa baba kodeka seka de baba. Maseka de baba kodeko soka de baba kodeka seka de baba. Rapa baba kodeke sento. In Jesus' name, we pray. He says, I have declared the Father's name to them. And I will declare it again. That's what he has been doing to us. He has struggled to let us understand. He has struggled to let the Pharisees, the, even his disciples, to understand the power that is in the name of the Father. In verse 26 of that John 17, he says, I have declared your name to them. And I will declare it again. Mazoko de de Kezento. Let's lift up our hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for declaring the name of the Father to us. Continue to declare that name to us according to your promise. Continue to open our understanding to see that name, to see the power in that name, to see the beauty in that name, to see the power in the name of the Father. Rabba Koshike de Baba, Mako Sopo Koshike de Baba, Kodeke Seke de Baba, Rabba Kodekaske de Baba, Kodeko Sonto. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, we want to look at John 5. Just go and put it up for us. You can come closer. Amen. John 5, 42 to 43. And then we'll look. We will just take prayer points from there and we'll be done. And then John 12. John chapter 5. But I know you that you have not the love of God in you. 43. I am come in my father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him will ye receive. Him ye will receive. Okay. 44. How can ye believe which receive honor one of another, and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? We're going to pray about that. Say, Abba Father. Abba. You know, the Lord was telling the Pharisees, you don't have the love of God. And that's why you cannot accept Jesus. Or the word of God. Say, Father, Father, establish your love in us in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Establish your love in me. Establish your love in the person I'm holding. In this brethren. Establish your love in the church. In your church. That you, you but with the blood of your son, establish your love in the body of Christ. Establish your love in our families. Establish your love in us, Father. Help us to just love you for who you are. In Jesus' name we pray. He says, they were not following. He has declared the name of the Father to them, but they couldn't follow him. But if another came in his own name, they will follow. And we have that issue in our generation. 
people are going around in their own name. And people are flocking after them. They are worshiping their name. Ah, Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, may we never follow those who don't minister in your name, but they minister in their own name. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. We will never follow. Let's clap our hands and pray that prayer. We will never follow those who don't minister in the name of God the Father. Those who propagate their own name. Maseke de de kosika de babako de kaska de babako de kosonto. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray it again. Jesus says, those who come in their own name, they are the ones they are following. And we have that issue today. There are some names that are up more than the name of God, the Father, more than the name of Jesus Christ. We reject that tendency in the name of Jesus. We rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. We reject it for our churches, for our families in the name of Jesus. We shall never follow those who propagate their own names in the name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then it says in verse 44, they love to receive honor from other people other than receiving honor from God. Now, that's a big problem in the church. We want to be praised by other people. We want to receive honor from them. John 12, verse 43. Let's look at verse, John 5, 44 quickly. It says, how can ye believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? That's a serious problem. Let's join our hands. Say, Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. Help us to stop seeking honor, the honor from one another. Help us to seek the honor that comes from you. Instead of seeking approval from man, from one another, from the world. May we seek your approval in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and pray. Maka de de baba. You just seek approval of people. You want people to think you are okay. Oh, my father. In Jesus' name we pray. Look, human beings are the poorest judge of character. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, you don't know me. You may think you know me. You don't know me. Only God knows me. And I don't care what you think about me. Turn to another person and say, you don't know me. And I don't care what you think about me. I don't seek your approval. I don't seek your honor. I seek approval from God. Clap for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus condemns that attitude. Hallelujah. Where you want people to praise you. You want people to think you are good. Where well, that will not take you to heaven. Hallelujah. Finally, look at John. John, where's the last one? Where's my paper? Give me my paper. Hallelujah. John 12, 43, I think. And then we are done. Hallelujah. John 12, 43 and Matthew 3, 17. For they love the praise of men more than the praise of God. Hallelujah. Say, Father... Deliver us from seeking honor and praise from human beings in the name of Jesus. Help us to seek the honor that comes from God only in the name of Jesus Christ. Clap your hands and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Stop seeking the praise of people. It will never take you far. It will not help you. It will not deliver you. It will not bless you. God validated Jesus from heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this is, he has not done anything. It's not about works. He, has, he, he just came out to be baptized. And the voice came. 
that one is my son. In him, I'm well pleased. Hallelujah. It says so also on the month of transfiguration, say, hear ye him, Abba Father. Lift up your two hands. Say, Abba Father. Power to please you. Power to please you. That I might be validated by you all the days of my life. Give it to me in the name of Jesus. Do you know that when God validates you, he will recommend you? When, when, you, when, you, when you apply for a job, your file may be at the bottom. There may be 250 people that have applied for that job. Your, your, your file may be number 251. They will go and remove your file from there. Because God is saying, that one. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because he recommends you. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 When God recommends you, uh, you know, let me quickly share this with you. When my husband was to become a professor, he applied in the University of Ibadan. He applied and then they were just, they were playing politics. He would come home and he would look so disappointed. So we forgot about it. And then I got saved, began to pray. And one day I began to hear professor, professor, professor. I said, ah. So I said, what is this? Said, Go tell your husband he's a professor. I told him, he said, ah, you are. are you sure you heard? I said, that's what I heard. Anyway, it's a long story. Then a post came up in another university. Can even give you the testimony himself. People have applied. I think the, the, the application date was over and whatever. He went. He still applied. They called him for the interview. I think they were 11 or 12. And he was not lobbying. Here's the point. A lot of people were going to see the VC to lobby. So he even did the interview and forgot. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And the VC didn't, didn't know him, didn't know us from Adam, said, unless this man says he doesn't want the job. That's, <laughs> that's when I will give it to, uh, but others have used the, all the, the, we call it long leg in Nigeria. <laughs> uh, everybody that they know, the VC, the VC refused. So one day he, he went to Lagos and said, ah, let me, go on, let me just go and check what happened. The moment he stepped into the office and told the secretary who's, ah, are you Professor Arowolo? Hey, hey, hey. Here's the man we've been waiting for. May your case be like that. Yeah. It's a, it will give you the testimony one day. I just cut it short, short. When God validates you, it may take 20 years. They were waiting for him. It was not the day of cell phone and all this phone and fancy things. There was no phone. Nobody came. They were waiting. They were hoping that he would show up. And they waited. And all the others, including some of his, our best friends and colleagues, they've been going behind their back to bribe the VC. The VC said, if this man says no, then hallelujah. Say, Father, may you validate me from heaven. May you validate my children, my children's children's children, unto eternity. Pray that prayer. When God approves of you, when he validates you, uh, when he says, this one is my own, when he recommends you, nobody can, 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 can remove you. My father, my father, I'm begging you, may you validate this church. May you recommend these ministries. May you validate us as individuals, as a church. May you validate our family members. In Jesus' name we pray. That's because our destiny was in the hand of God the Father. 
He knew where he was taking us. May your destiny be in his hand. May the destiny of your children be in his hand. May the destiny of all our children, children's children's children be in his hand. Come on, lift up your hands now. Put your destiny in his hand. Once you do that, he will watch over you. The Holy Spirit will watch over you. We validate you. We'll help you. We'll keep you from sin. We'll keep you unto eternity. Your spiritual destiny. Ah, open your mouth. Say, Father, I am putting my spiritual destiny, my marital destiny, my financial destiny, my academic destiny, my career destiny, my eternal destiny into your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I beg you, lift up your hands and put your destiny. I am putting the destiny of my sons and daughters, my grandchildren to a thousand generations. I am putting them in your hands, my father. In the name of Jesus, we praise you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. That last prayer has covered many things. Your health, your finances, your family, everything. Once you put them in the hands of God the Father, I'm telling you, all will be well with you. In the name of Jesus. I want us to bring out the anointing oil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray on it quickly. The Bible says you must be born again by the word and by the spirit. Hallelujah. By water and by the spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you help us? Hallelujah. Amen. And bring your oil and come quickly. The time is going. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come, 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 come. Why are you sitting down? You want to stay here? I think you like it. This is our father's house. No problem. We can, we can stay here. He will continue to bless us. Not a problem. Hallelujah. Only me, I want to go and eat. Then I'll come back and meet you here. <laughs> John chapter 4. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to lift up the bottle as I read the word. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. And Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well. And it was about the sixth hour. He cometh, there cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her, give me to drink. Lift up your bottle. Say, O oh Lord, I'm giving you my soul. I know you are thirsty for my soul. You are thirsty for my well-being. You are thirsty for my destiny to be in your hand. Abba, Father, I am putting my soul in the hand of your son, the Lord Jesus Christ, by the reason of this anointing. Open your mouth and begin to pray. When Jesus told that woman, give me to drink, he is telling her, give me your soul. Give me your life. I'm thirsty for your life. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Then said the woman, verse 9, of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, ask a drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? 
For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of God, who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and would have, he would have given thee living water. Say, O oh Lord, I'm asking you for the living water, the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm asking you for life, the living water. I'm asking for the gift of God, the gift of God Almighty. Abba Father, I'm asking for that gift. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Verse 13, Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give, give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water, springing up into everlasting life. Hey. Say, O oh Lord, I am coming to you today by the reason of this anointing that you might put in me a well of water that springs up into everlasting life. Into everlasting life. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ on every pot to In Jesus' name we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. I speak the word of fire into every bottle of oil. I speak the blood of Jesus Christ into bottle, every bottle of oil that we are lifting up to you. That right now, Father, as your word, as the blood of the Lamb enters every bottle of oil, that, Father, as we anoint ourselves, we will never be thirsty again. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will never thirst for the things of this world. We will never thirst for hellfire. We will never thirst for sin. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Abba Father, as the anointing is loosed upon our lives. Lord, let there be a well of springing water. Springing up to eternal life. Springing up to everlasting life in us. Let your joy begin to bubble in us. Let your peace be in us. Let your wisdom be multiplied to us. Let your grace increase in us. Power to be like you. May the Father give it to us in the name of Jesus. May the glory of God the Father enter these bottles of oil. The wisdom of God, the spirit of God the Father, the power that raised Jesus from the grave, the power of resurrection, the power of deliverance, the power of healing, the power of holiness. The power power of sanctification. May it enter these bottles of oil. Thank you, omnipotent God. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that is pouring into every bottle that is held up to you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah.
don't have go to your neighbor he will give you all right the lord says we should drink it seven times hallelujah <laughs> so seven There's an anointing in the house. Close your bottles so you don't lose your oil. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Close your bottle and lift up your two hands. There's an anointing right now over you. The presence of the living God. The power of God Almighty. Receive the anointing, receive the anointing, receive the anointing, the glorious anointing of God, the presence of God. Put those two hands on your head and begin to pray in tongues. Receive. Yes, receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Receive it. Receive it. Mako zopo ko zeka de baba. Reka seke de de ko soka de baba ko de ke zanto. Jesus. 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 Pra ko de ke zika de baba ko de ke zanto. Maso ka de baba ko de ke zanto. Maso po ko sheka de baba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He says you should pray. Pray up that anointing. Pray, pray. Rapa paco de que sento, rapa paco de casque de paco de casca de papaco de cosonto, a pafada paco de caseca de baba, braba baba co de que sent, praco so poco sent. Anoint your eyes and your ears and continue to pray. Put the anointing on your eyes and on your ears. Marco so poco seca de papaco de que sent. Say, Abba Father. Abba Father, I want to see Jesus. I want to see Jesus Christ. I want to see a revelation of your glory in your son. In the name of Jesus, put your hand on your eyes and pray in tongues. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Masseca de de casento, prapa paco de quesent. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Cate papa co de cosento. Anoint your ears. Remember the theme of this fast is I want to see Jesus. I want to have a divine encounter. 
a fresh revelation of the Son of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Our Father, we give you praise. I need to give you, I don't know, the kind of anointing I feel here is big. I can hardly stand on my feet. I want to put some of this oil into your bottles. Just bring your bottles quickly. Thank you, Jesus. Just a drop. Did you enter? <laughs> Did you enter? No. Yeah, because the thing is too small. Let's head back. Open this one.
lift up your hands to our Father as we sing that song. Forever. Oh, Lord. Thy word is said to in heaven. It is said to. It is said to forever. came here with any sickness as you drank that oil seven times you are perfectly healed in the mighty name of Jesus Father we thank you we bless you thank you Jesus also if you have any application that needs to be approved go and anoint your hand and just put your hand on the on the application and release the glory of God on it. Wherever you want to see the glory of God, just anoint. You can anoint your office. Some of you need to go and anoint your desk. And the glory of God will overshadow this office in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise. Let's wave our hands and return all the glory to God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We worship you, Lord. The Lord is taking away that chest pain that is always there. It's a chronic chest pain. It is healed now in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. It's also healing that chronic stomach problem. Any chronic, a chronic disease is a disease that doesn't want to go. They are jumping out now in the mighty name of Jesus. The glory of the Lord is overshadowing us and overshadowing our families. Also, you can anoint the pictures of your loved ones and command the glory of God to overshadow them. Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Before I ask Daddy to come and take the offering, remember the Lord told us to pledge. Hallelujah. You can make a silent pledge. It's not a pledge we're going to hand out papers. No. Because the Lord says, when you give alms to the poor, He said, don't allow the, your right hand or your left hand to see what is on the other hand. Hallelujah. So you can just wave whatever you want to give tonight to the Lord and in your heart tell the Lord that I will give something every month. Not just once in a month. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not just when we fast. Praise the Lord. But something you will just pledge in your heart that apart from this fast, uh, the time when we fast, I will give something once I give after giving my tithes, even if it is 10 cents, I will put it in the Good Samaritan box. Lift up your hands and tell the Lord, whatever he lays on your heart, do it. Amen. It's an offering that God always accepts. The offering to the poor is very, very acceptable to God. Amen. Daddy, please, can you come and take the offering for us? 